In this video we're going to explore the scenario in which you create a single purchase return order and the supplier sends out multiple credit notes. Now it's important uh, to understand that this doesn't cover the scenario in which you create multiple return orders and the supplier sends out a single credit note. There is another video that looks at that topic. Um, this is purely for one return order to multiple credits. So you can see here I've created a return order, a purchase return order, and I've already got the items on the um, lines. So the supplier has now come to pick these parts up. So what we must do is go to process, post, and ship. So what this will do, it will remove the items from your system um, in terms of a stock quantity, although you still own the item um, as a value, it still belongs to you until you receive the credit note, the actual quantity will be truly reflected um, in your item list. So you can see here that return quantity shipped is one and quantity to invoice is still one. So what we're aiming for is to get all of these numbers into this column here. So the supplier now sends the credit notes back to us and we can see that on this credit note, they've actually only sent back the time and belt kit. So I'm gonna change all of these to zero now this is very similar um, in respect of when you are receiving multiple invoices to a single purchase order. It's exactly the same method um, in this case. So I'll type in the um, first credit memo number from the supplier and we can see quantity invoice is one. What we can do um, is look at these statistics and we can see what the invoicing amount would be. So you can see the total of the document is still 7583 because it's taken into account all of the lines but at the moment, because we're only invoicing one, if you use the statistics button, you can actually see what that value is uh, to make sure that this does match the invoice, uh, the credit note, sorry. So what I do now is I go process post and I just select invoice. So what you can see here is that this time and belt kit has now been shipped and invoiced. Um, so we've, we know we've received the credit note for this and we can see that we're still awaiting the credit note for these three. So if we receive these three on the separate, on the second credit note, and they've only split this over two, again, if I go back to process statistics, I can see what the remaining uh, balance is, which is 2447. I'll make sure that matches the credit uh, from the supplier. I have to put in the new credit memo number uh, because this obviously must match the second credit. And I simply select process post invoice and that credit memo, that purchase return order is now closed. The reason it's closed is because all of the lines have been shipped and invoiced. So it works in a very similar fashion to the um, purchase orders, uh, receiving multiple invoices against purchase orders. So again, this doesn't cover the scenario in where you're trying to combine multiple return orders to a single invoice. There is a video on that, and I'll put that in the description of this video. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Thank you.